Hi, so I wanted to walk through uh, a database migration that I'm working on and uh, I'm trying to migrate a database uh, from a, a one Amazon uh, RDS server to another and uh, what I've found is that uh, it's pretty easy to use the SQL Azure uh, migration wizard uh, much better than uh, trying to do this in SQL Server Management Studio on your own. Um, you can do uh, also use BCP on your own on the command line uh, to do uh, a bulk copy uh, from uh, one database to another. Um, but uh, the SQL Azure actually just uses BCP, which is pretty cool, uh, under the hood. And so you'll see that it'll generate all the scripts necessary to migrate the entire database uh, structure and schema, uh, as well as the data itself. So, so it's pretty great. Um, before I get started, I do want to know uh, one of the things that I, I'm mentioning in this post in regard to setting up your uh, uh, your NIC inside your EC2 instance. So I'm actually on an EC2 instance here uh, that I'm going to be running all this uh, on. And so uh, one of the things that uh, I learned the hard way was you had to turn off a lot of the uh, TCP uh, offloading. So what you need to do is go into your network connections, just like I've done here, and uh, right click on it and go to properties. And let's take a look. Uh, what we want to do is hit the configure button uh, for our uh, Citrix PV Ethernet adapter. Um, and then we're going to go to the advanced tab. And under the advanced tab, you want to go through and disable all of these advanced options. Um, and the reason for that, uh, as I pointed out, is because I was running into all kinds of connectivity TCP uh, dropping uh, the connection when downloading large tables. Some of the tables uh, might have a million or more records in them, so uh, they can be quite large. So, so if you're running into that same timeout issue, uh, make sure you come in here to your, uh, your NIC and uh, disable all of the uh, offloading and, and such. So, cool. Hit that. So now let's jump into the SQL Azure Migration Wizard. So I've already downloaded it here. Uh, I threw it on the C drive. And uh, it's as simple as just uh, double-clicking launching uh, the EXE. Uh, we're going to migrate a database. And uh, we're using uh, the latest version, version 12, which is uh, 2008. Um, you can also get a newer version of the SQL Azure Migration Wizard uh, off the link <clears throat> uh, to, to download something to run against 2012. So. Uh, and then that would be uh, version 13, I guess. Yeah, so. Cool. So hit next. And uh, this is going to be my source database. So for my source database, uh, I'm going to be connecting to our SQL Server instance here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. I'm going to be moving over this backup from a couple days ago. Now I can select a specific table or view or, or whatnot that I want to copy over, but I'm going to script the entire database. So I'm going to move all database objects over, uh, including the data. If you don't want to migrate the data, you can turn that off just to note, um, or say you've already migrated the schema. Either way, you do get this option in here uh, where you can basically tell uh, the migration wizard whether you want to uh, do the migration and just do the table schema only, or do the table schema with the data, or the data only. So you get all three of those options, which is really nice, um, in case you're like kind of halfway in, in the migration process. So we're going to actually do the whole schema and data. So we're going to hit OK, and then I'm going to hit Next, Next, and then we're going to uh, hit Yes and let it generate the SQL script. And so it's going to go ahead and figure out all the dependency tree structure, and then um, create all of the generate all of the uh, scripts necessary, the DDL, to uh, define our schema. And then after that, uh, it'll go through and start to download the data using the bulk copy uh, command, the BCP command, uh, to download uh, uh, raw files out of the source database. And um, it places those by default on the C drive. So if I actually just come over here and go to C, and then look in here, you'll see this BCP, uh, BCP data folder. And in here, it's dropping in all these files uh, uh, for the schema. And then we'll also start to see uh, the actual uh, data files. Um, maybe those are the data files. Looks like, yeah, those are. So it's already doing those. 
Uh, so you can see here it's running the BCP command uh, and giving it the out parameter. So it's exporting out uh, from the this database uh, table called client events. Um, and so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run, and then uh, we'll, we'll pick up the video here in a sec. Okay, and it looks like our uh, uh, export here has finished. So it has uh, downloaded all the data and schema, and so now we're ready to import into our uh, RDS instance. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a, a database for this. I'm going to call this Thurber. Hit create database. Go ahead and hit next and then we're going to hit yes. And it's going to go ahead and process all of those files uh, and import the entire schema and everything into our target server. And there it goes. Now it's starting to actually import the data. All right, great. And it's done. Uh, so we can go ahead and exit out, and it's all finished. Uh, so I can go over to my database here, and I'll hit a refresh. And now you can see that I have my uh, database, and there's all of the tables, and uh, all of the data has been migrated successfully. Um, so just to point out uh, in summary that uh, the uh, Azure SQL migration wizard is a real time saver uh, when migrating data in and out of an RDS instance or between RDS instances uh, for SQL Server where you're unable to create uh, you know, this standard backup uh, .bak file and migrate a database or, or whatever that way. Um, so make sure you take, uh, take a look at downloading the SQL Azure Migration Wizard. And, and don't forget, if you're on an EC2 instance, to disable those offloading, uh, TCP offloading uh, options. So great. I hope this video was helpful, and uh, enjoy the rest of the post.